<laughs> the body language in that, isn't that so beautiful? I don't know about Queenie so much, but uh, it's just... <laughs> it, 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 you're right, because it's like one person's looking directly at the camera. Who's well, done, she, who's she's done doing a, million, a photo op, yeah. Yeah, who's done it a million times. Mm, mm. And the other one is kind of, there's, there's this kind of self-awareness, this, mm. this, this humility almost. You yeah. Know, that, so it's it's Albert Namatira receiving the coronation medal from Her Majesty from Albert's story series 2014. And what do we have here? Vincent. Yeah. You know, for such you know, for such flat dimension, they're incredibly expressive, aren't they? Albert and Vincent. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. I love these. I really love these. Um what do you think of these? Well, I think it's very evocative. It's very close and deep. Mm. There's something beautiful, I think, in just the gesture here of the arm. Oh, the gesture and also the, the eye shoulder. To, yeah, and the eye to eye. You know, the eyes are so intently looking yeah. into each other mm. in a way that. Uh, <laughs> Now, um, oh, these are great. The William Yang documentation of uh, Mardi Gras. Yes. Yeah, these are fantastic. This fits so nicely into an exhibition about love stories, doesn't it? Yeah. The historic pictures as well. I mean, yeah. this is the other thing there. Yeah. Mardi Gras is such a beautiful celebration of just incredible creativity as well as love. I love it. And abandoned. And abandoned, yeah. God, it's, it's good for us, isn't it? Peter Allen. Mm. It's a great shot, isn't it? It is. It's a particularly nice black and white shot. What about these? Mm. Oh, I think these are gorgeous. I've got to say, they're beautifully um, yeah, hung, aren't fantastically they? displayed. Really yeah, impressive. Yeah. yeah, you know what I love about the inclusion of this too is about two creative forces: the yeah. love uh -huh. and respect and honouring of creative forces. So, isn't it interesting though how how much I mean they have very different styles and yet as such good friends they obviously really fired off each other mm. um, but that didn't interrupt or didn't it just energized but it didn't it didn't interrupt their own creative development or flow but it actually further you know supercharged it I suppose it's just empowering I love that mm. It's just really one of the highlights for me. Um, Why? Well, everyone knows this couple, mm. Anna Koska and, and John Bell. He's been such a regular traveller to Canberra to, you know, to perform mm. with Bell Shakespeare. And mm. I don't know, all that warmth, that, that thing he has on stage and her, you know, it radiates from this picture, the relationship between them, but also their relationship with you Mm. When you look at this, mm. you know. It's very intimate, isn't it? It is. It's almost... It's intimate, but it's also... I wouldn't say... I'm not saying performative, but it's... But it's but it's, it's like we're there as well. Mm. Oh, no, look at this one. I, I, this, I've just got to stop here for a minute. Yeah. Brian Brown and Rachel... Ward. Ward. Uh, you know what I love about this? <laughs> a minor detail, but I love the fact that the blazer she's wearing has kind of got ink spots or something on it. You know, it's kind of like a bit tatty. And I love the way she's looking at him. Just, she's just such a, a comfortable person in her own skin. And I, you kind of get the sense that from this image, this portrait, that he has a huge amount of respect for her. Or am I reading too much into it? 
Mm, probably not. What do you see? No, I agree. I, I look. I, I think it's a you know here is two people who spend their lives in front of cameras, and so to some extent, I'd say well you know there's a confection in the image, or at least there's the possibility of a confection. But I'm not suggesting the love is confected. I'm I'm just saying that that has a sort of a you know a kind of a magazine feel about it. I don't think so. At all. I, I, in fact, quite the opposite. If you're going to if you're going to <coughs> pose for a start, you'd wear a jacket that didn't have blotches of ink on it, and something that fits you properly. Now here's one that, when we looked at it before, we just this is a spectacular piece of work. This is my favourite of this exhibition. Stan and Tracy Holmes and Stan Grant, I think, are one of the most incredible love stories in Australia. I remember I was at Channel 7 when he was just smashed by the media when he, when their relationship became public because it had been secret for a little while and he'd left his wife and, you know, there were children involved. And, oh, well, he was just treated so badly. They both were. It was despicable. Anyway, okay, I won't talk about it anymore. But it is my favourite. It's a beautiful uh, picture. I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the point but about you're just looking—you're just looking at the aesthetics of it, saying it's a beautiful picture. It's not yeah, just nice. the aesthetics; just the people. I, I agree, but I, I, I think it's a really bold picture. I mean, I think it's very painterly. Very um, painterly, yeah. and it's extraordinary that the way it's been given that kind of smoky—you can see the sun's very low, presumably at dusk—and it's been given that kind of soft, smoky light that you can sometimes get, um, you know, in the bush late in the afternoon. And you can feel the temperature because of the furs. You can feel the, the warmth, in a sense, between these two. I think it's really, um, yeah, it's, it's the sort of picture that makes you smile when you look at it. You don't see that so often. Oh, here, we've got, we've got to look at this. I, I absolutely love the Jimmy Barnes and Jane. Now, we know these roses are roses that he grew himself. And as the curators were telling us, it's their nephew who took the photograph. There's something just gorgeous about that, isn't there? It's really extraordinary, actually. Uh, uh, uh. You know what we're seeing in this exhibition? It's just occurred to me. Because it is love stories and we're seeing such, you know, in, in many of these pieces, beautiful expressions of love. Something we're seeing, and you see it in the John Bell one with his wife Anna as well, is an incredible... Uh, and the same with um, Rachel Ward and Brian Brown. This respect, love, intimacy coming from the men for their women, you know, that women are actually quite strong figures, strong sort of looking out at the viewer whilst the man in the portrait seems a bit more engaged in the intimacy of the moment. That's unusual. And yeah. they've, well, don't you think? They've captured, th this exhibition has a few of those sorts mm. of moments. I think that's interesting. Yeah. And it's sort of like, because the exhibition brings together those moments. And it's the same with the Stan Grant one and the Tracy Holmes. That beautiful intimacy you're getting from the male and sort of the, the warmth and respect and adoration you sense. You think I'm reading too much into that? No, 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 I agree with you. I agree with you. I don't think you do. <laughs> well, you don't. You sort of, you don't, do you? I do. Well, you don't have to. But I, it's no, but just, I do agree. You don't have to, but it's fact. <laughs> But I, don't you see that? Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a good observation. It's oh, thank quite you. Quite a common thing in the exhibition, uh, is. which is your point, right? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Well, I think we should be a bit loving at this stage, don't you think? Well, we could do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's you, there's me. Uh, she does look a bit like me.
It does actually, yeah. It does. It's got the same kind of hair at the front in the, uh, yeah. yeah. No, it's quite And funny. the same sort of tilt of the head actually. 